So the last time I was here, they they had done the demo, but since then, uh, they the plumbers have come in, put all brand new PVC. They've also installed the tub. Uh, city passed the rough in for the plumbing. Bathroom is set, and we just got to start installing and and then do the cosmetic upgrades, so the paint and the flooring and all that. So we're about three weeks into my rehab. It's all been approved by the city. However, I did find a little surprise. We need a new sewer main. So if you look right down there, um, you'll be able to see where we started, but we're gonna run a new sewer main. It was old um, concrete and steel pipe, mm -hmm. a combo of both. And so we're gonna cut those out mm -hmm. and put all new PVC and just fix it once, fix it right. It's $4,000 hit. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to talk my vendor down and get a little lower price, mm -hmm. but it's about gonna be about $4,000. So, but again, do it once, do it right, and have a safe, beautiful home for my tenants. One take wonder, baby. Do it once, do it right. So this was a the exterior part. They, they try to enclose a little porch here, but we're gonna demo all this. It's just not really safe. There's no flooring, it's dirt. So we're gonna get rid of all this mm. and clean it up. It'll just be the patio. That part right there is gonna be the laundry room and where the water heater is. So I won a multiple offer situation on Monday. Inspection was today and it looks really good. So I'm just praying that we stay under contract, we get through the appraisal, and we close this puppy. How long have you been showing them houses in one? No. So this client, it was a miracle. One house. One shot, one kill. Uh, my other client, I'm, we're probably at 32 houses I've shown. It's close. Like, they're from another city in a state, so they don't know the market. So they're learning the market as they show them houses. It's a process of elimination. Plus, there's not a lot of inventory, so we're kind of looking at everything that's available that they that meets their basic requirements and then we go in and see if it needs a lot of work or if it just if we can rule it out most of them we ruled out but there's two that we've fallen in love with we've offered on both of them we lost on the first one we were like seventh and then on the last one we were second out of like 12. we're going to submit a backup offer for that one and then still try to look for a house it's been 17 days straight i've worked so mm -hmm. yeah. so i definitely need some rest i've also have clients living with me yeah. because their new build that they were supposed to close on Monday didn't meet appraisal. We can't move in until we all agree what the price of the house is gonna be, which means that they're gonna to have to come out of pocket. So now they're living with me because their Airbnb was too expensive to stay in for two or three more weeks. So they're with me now until we figure that out. It's been a challenge for every buyer in this market. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you get lucky. My clients on Monday, I wouldn't say they're lucky. I think I did a phenomenal job of presenting the best offer, but everything else, people are just outbidding us with money. It's just a money war and we're losing because we don't have infinite money. I gotta get rid of all this brush, these broken branches and, you know, clean it up. But it's an awesome yard, actually. It's huge. Um, this is gonna be a cool rental. It really is. I think I might have to change the roof out. I don't know, I'm just looking at it, it's terrible. They called me, but the title was all screwed up, like 14 people owned it. So I had to, I spent seven months get clearing title. It's like $2,000 in lawyer's fees. And we got it done, cleared title and I closed on it. So seven month journey, buddy, to get this sucker. It's been a lot of work, but it's right. gonna be great. That concludes the checking in on my investment property. Now back to showing houses and conquering the world. Later. Later, buddy.